From the Pop Communication Studio, The Late Debate with Jack Tomczak and Benjamin Cruzy. Minnesota's political postgame show is live on Twin Cities News Talk, AM 1130. Uh, there is a new farm bill that is in the works. That's right. It's been okay. passed, passed the Senate, passed the House. They write one every committee. four years? Okay, but has it, the president hasn't signed it yet? Or? Well, the House hasn't pa- signed it. The oh, House okay. Ag okay. Committee passed it. It's now on the floor of the House. Okay. And frankly, I don't think it can pass because it's so awful. What's if you want to know, if you want to know how bad this is, the editorial board of the Minneapolis Star Tribune edit- editorialized against it. Wow, as too much spending. What? And so I think that should be a pretty good sign to people. Absolutely, <laughs> that it's a pretty awful bill. So uh, where's Tim Walls on it? Well, he says pass the bill now. And uh, the int- what, a lot of interesting things about the bill is the first off is that it's called the Farm Bill. Hey, it's eighty percent food stamps. No, no, right. no, it's not food stamps. It's nutrition. Well, yes. You can't well, say food stamps. It's well, nutrition. Let's, well, let, we're we're going to call it food stamps. That's what How much is. vitamin C is in a food stamp? And, and, and I want to say, for the record, uh, I have nothing against food stamps, and I have nothing against people taking advantage of food stamps. But, for the record, we need to know how liberal the, the system is in Minnesota. Mm-hmm. And it's not that food stamps are bad. It's not that people taking them are bad. No. But the system is broken. Okay. So in Minnesota, you can have a couple unmarried because food stamps discriminates against married people, just like Obamacare. All right. Unmarried, two children, they can make forty nine thousand five hundred dollars per year, and still qualify for food stamps. There's no means test, and there's no means test. They can have two cars in the garage. They can have a boat, hopefully not nicer than my boat because I have a very <laughs> nice boat. They can have a basement full of gold bullion, and I have nothing against people with a basement full of gold bullion. Mm-hmm. I don't have that, but I have right. a friend who does. He has but his anyway, bullion in his boat. What, what is your friend's address? Uh, yeah, let's see. It is, uh, <laughs> I think, State Fair. <laughs> <laughs> so, first of all, even if you don't have a basement full of gold bullion, uh, two people at $49,000, that's, that's good enough. You, d- you don't need food. Well, I think, you can, I think you should be able to buy your food at that level. So why is this system so broken? Here's why. Okay. First of all, the federal government pays 100% of the food stamps. The states don't pay a penny. All the state does is pay half of the administrative costs. So what do states do? They try to get as many people on food stamps as they can because they're bringing federal money into the state. And so it's, there's a huge incentive to increase the number of people on food stamps. Then the federal government says to the states, look, you can write the eligibility requirements uh, pretty much the way you want. Mm-hmm. So what does Minnesota do? It steps the eligibility up to 165% of poverty, no assets test. Okay. And other states are doing similar things. Why? Similar things. Why? Because they want to get more money into the state. So the whole system is totally broken. Four years ago, the federal government spent $32 billion on food stamps. Uh, last year, it spent over $70 billion on food stamps. Oh and this bill, the food stamp bill called the egg bill, takes that up to $80 billion a year, writes it in stone, Sets it for five years, half a trillion dollars of spending, all money we do not have. This is absolutely, uh, incredibly uh, bad financial management. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's not, the, it's not the farm bill, it's not the ag bill, it's the food stamps and golf course bill. It's a food stamps, uh, food stamps and gold bullion bill. Absolutely. <laughs>